So I'm Dan Gibbig, Chief Options Strategist for Master Trader, and you heard the background. Let's plow right into it because I have a lot of exciting information to cover here today. Here's what we're going to cover. Our edge in selling options, not buying them, we're selling them, is going to be around the chart patterns and also volatility. I'm gonna give you a bunch of examples today, real life examples that we've given to our subscribers and traded ourselves to show you how easy it is to find these setups and to, to manage them. Whether you're a part-time trader, you have a full-time job, whether you're a position trader, these are no brainer trades when they set up and we find them multiple trades every single day. And in fact, we've already given three or four today. I'm gonna show you examples of selling these options just around typical bullish and bearish turning points using technical analysis. I'm gonna show you climactic patterns, which is still, it's just a flavor of a bullish and bearish, but uh, the volatility spikes on those, making them even more interesting. And then other types of high volatility new stocks, I'll give you an example of that with um, uh, Wynn Hotel, um, but they, they occur all the time. You know, Facebook's been in the news recently for its troubles uh, with the uh, data uh, breach. I'm gonna show you our approach to shorting options and spreads ahead of earnings, but more powerfully after earnings because you have lower risk. I'm gonna show you how we approach selling spreads around um, index and volatility ETFs after the market sells off. It's one of our favorite strategies, just which we're in the middle of right now, mind you. The market was down five days um, yesterday. We had an afternoon breakout and we just go to our playbook. We sell out of the money, short-term puts on the spiders and you can also short um, the volatility ETFs, but I'll, I'll show you an example of that. And then many, some traders don't believe in charts. They say it's just a coin flip and they just trade the numbers. But the problem with that is if you don't start with a bias on direction, then you can get run over by being directionally wrong. And I'll just show you an example or two of you know actual trades that I got in my um, inbox from competitors and I'm like what are you thinking uh, just wait for the chart to tell you when to properly um, enter all right so Renee thanks so much for going through all this um, but you know I'm at the unconscious competence level I've been trading 25 years I've seen every movie if you will of, of, of setups and so you can learn from my mistakes. And what I'm showing you, uh, to you today here is all genuine, awesome information that you can start paper trading and actually trading, which are easier to trade than trading stocks. Our obligatory disclaimer, of course, anytime you speculate in anything, stocks, real estate, buying and selling automobiles, it's going to involve risk. So of course there's risk when you're buying and selling stocks and options and commodities and uh, currencies. But our methodology stacks the odds overwhelmingly in your favor before we put the trade on. And you're going to see these examples where the, the odds are just overwhelming. Let's talk about just our overall approach before we jump in to these examples. We're going to earn our weekly and monthly paycheck from what's called theta in, in the option pricing Greek world. And you don't need to worry about complicated concepts today. Just keep in mind that when people buy calls because they are speculating on higher prices, or they buy puts because they're speculating on lower prices, you know, or hedging, but that's their bias. That costs money. So the option seller is taking in that money for an obligation to buy or sell the underline. I'm gonna show you that. 
So we use our chart patterns and we predict, I'm willing to put that money in my pocket and take that bet that the stock's gonna not breach support or resistance. And I get paid for just predicting where a stock is not gonna go. We're gonna use chart patterns as our edge. But if there's no pattern, you'll hear me saying this all the time, no pattern, no trade, no pattern, no trade. If I do have a pattern, then I say, what type of pattern do I have? Is it a day trade, swing trade, core trade? And I'll determine whether I do a directional option trade or an income trade. Today, we're just focused on income trades where we're getting paid to predict where the stock's not going. You don't have to time entries with precision like we do on directional trades where we want our multiple time frames to be in alignment. I mentioned when people buy options, they have to pay money. And that decays day by day, that premium they pay into expiration. When volatility is high, either on the market or on the individual stock of interest, the cost of those calls and puts skyrockets, is elevated. So that is preferred when we're selling options. Why? Because we're getting paid more for the risk that we're taking. Once we're in the trade, what do we do? We manage the trade. A trade to us, use whatever analogy you want to make it uh, sink in. A trade to us is, it's a bus going by. It's a nice bus that I'm hopping on and then I get off it, and wait for the next bus. It's a piece of, of, of merchandise. If you're running Nordstrom, if the inventory isn't selling, we just get rid of it. We're buying the inventory with the intent of reselling it at a higher price for a profit. That's all a trade is to us, period. We're in this to make money. High probability setups, strategies, and then we manage in between. So these are some of the ones that we teach, and, and I don't have enough time today um, to get into all these, but once we're in it, you can do nothing if you don't mind being assigned the stock at that improved cost basis, which I'll show you examples, of course. You can stop out if the pattern is destroyed. We have adjustment strategies that we teach. You know, when you buy or, or short a stock, it's one dimensional, meaning you profit if it goes up, you lose if it goes down, if you're long. But when we short these options and spreads, we can adjust our bias of the trade in real time by overlaying other strategies. It's another wonderful concept. We can hedge it, we can roll it. Strategies for all environments. I don't care what environment we are in. We find opportunity in what I'm sharing with you today every single day. The market can be up, down, choppy, risky, uh, consolidating, um, you know, ultra bullish, ultra bearish. We are going to find these setups every day. One more slide of just some basic foundation and then let's jump into some, some great examples. What do stocks do? These are the only movements. Let's keep it simple, okay? They can go up, they can go down, and they can go sideways in a consolidation. The strategy we're using here today is using start with the compelling pattern. We're gonna get paid. We're putting money in our pocket, which is our brokerage account, of course, that that short-term term, term short-term top or bottom, it's going to hold. So I'm going to show you when we're selling a on, on Master Trader bullish strategies, we're going to sell bull put credit spreads or even naked puts. And then we're going to profit if the stock goes up, if the stock goes sideways, or if the stock even goes down, as long as it doesn't go down greater than our break even point we make money. 
So that's the cushion that I'm referring to when we sell options. We have a cushion to be wrong on direction and we still get paid. On the master trader bear strategies, it's just the opposite. We're gonna sell bear call credit spreads and then we're gonna profit if the stock continues to go down, if it goes sideways, and it can even go up against us all the way to our break even point and we make money. That is because of time decay of the person who purchased these options. It's, a, it's an expiring asset. If it does not perform as the buyer intended, rapidly, it is like a melting ice cube of loss to the buyer, the option buyer. Now we do buy options, but we teach properly directional option strategies where we put that time decay in our favor. And again, that's obviously beyond uh, the scope of today, but we teach it in our full option strategy series of a complete 10 module course. So think of, think of this like an insurance company or even a casino, if you will, even though this is not gambling, but the risk management and odds components of, of a casino do apply. Not just gambling, hey, I'm you know gonna roll the dice on something. So we're getting paid each day unless an unexpected disaster occurs, which, in this world is just a catastrophic gap against us, but those rarely occur. And part of the high success rate of 85% plus, the money that we take in every day, we have a, a statistical bank to pay some of these stop outs. So the math works. Let's look at just some stick diagrams to now explain uh, the strategy that we're doing, and then we're gonna jump right into the examples. These are all pictures, I, I call them look, the master trader bullish money patterns. I don't care what the underlying is, and actually, I would prefer these patterns to occur on bearish news. People lie, the media does whatever they wanna do. This is a picture of money. Demand is greater than supply and every one of these pictures look like they're going higher. And then we use you know, multiple time frames to even give us higher confidence. So when we see patterns like this, we, where these green lines are, we're gonna sell a put at support or below support. We're putting money in our pocket and we're agreeing to buy the stock at that price on or before expiration. That's what selling a put obligates me to do. But we start with a compelling pattern and I'm willing to take that bet in exchange for the premium going into my pocket. Again, brokerage account. This would be selling a put naked, but we're, we prefer bull put credit spreads for two reasons. It lowers our risk, and you'll see the examples, the difference between the spread width and the premium received, and it's less capital required from your brokerage firm. The difference of those two numbers, we put this in, or we put the order in as one simultaneous trade at your brokerage firm. And, and this would be, I'm selling a bull put credit spread for a limit of the midpoint. And that's your maximum gain that you get paid as long as the stock goes up sideways. Or as I said, it can even go below support as long as it doesn't go beyond our break-even point. Examples. We have a sell-off to major support here, bottoming tail. Now, you're also gonna see in these, I'm not, well, they're 
could be a directional trade in here. I'll tell you when it when it is. But when I said that we find opportunities in every market environment, would I buy as a as a master trader, um, skilled technician? Would I buy this stock? Those of you who have been with us for a while know that the answer is absolutely not. But can I make money for calling a short-term bottom? The fact that this fell from $70 all the way to 60, ugly red bar the prior day, but it's on major support, it's on the 200-day moving average, implied volatility is high. It only, implied volatility rank means they're ranking it zero to 100, and they just look at current volatility relative to the past year, and they say, where are you? So 96% implied volatility. We're gonna sell, because I'm looking at this pattern with that bottoming tail and support, and I'm saying to myself, I'll take that bet. And then you have to, and that's what we teach, obviously, and that's what we do for our subscribers in our, our two advisory letters. And we have the Master Trader Green Room where we're monitoring the markets in real time and we're giving live trades and we're trading them ourselves. Like I said, we have given four of them already today. We have to ask ourselves, at what strike price do I think this stock is not going to violate. And in what time frame? We specialize in selling short-term options because of time decay. An option expires much slower if it has a 60-day term than it does if it has a five-day expiration, like in this trade. So we're getting paid. We're gonna sell the $59 put under support, and we're gonna buy the 55.5 further out of the money put for our protection to limit risk and limit our capital required at the brokerage firm. We're taking in 45 cents a share. I'll focus on a 10 lot, which is you know, just my default. And, you know, some people like to advertise uh, th th these dream, the sky, the, hey, look, you're going to make $11 million with my strategy. Please take all that with a grain of salt, folks. What I'm showing you here today is reality. We do this every day. I'm not here to tell you that this strategy is going to make you $11 million unless you're have a lot of money that you're managing and then it definitely will but that's not going to be the average uh, person here today this is an income a weekly income and monthly income strategy that's easy to find and trade where you don't have to be glued to a computer screen all day watching every tick we're working it so on a 10 lot selling a 10 lot of this bull put credit spread that's 450 bucks. So you have a couple of these on all the time and you're making a, 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 you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 a week while you still have a job or you're doing this part time. And it's just an amazing way to add income that is not hard to do. So let's continue. And then somebody might say, well, Dan, 40 also, well, I told you 450 bucks, but you also might say, well, Dan, this other newsletter is telling me to buy an out of the money call, um, you know, for 20 cents. And then I have, I have the potential to make 800% return. So let me answer that simply. You must, this is not, you, that would be buying a lottery ticket. What are the odds of, of winning the lottery in your state? It's like one in, you know, a hundred million. That is a losing game. This is a high probability game, just like insurance companies and casinos. So the brokerage on this example, 
requires three dollars and five cents we're taking in 45 cents so look at that folks it's 14.7 percent return on your capital in five days all this stock has to do is stay above $59 strike price. This is what it did do. It rocketed back up. Would I have predicted that? No, I already told you that. It doesn't matter. It's an income trade to us. We made our 450 bucks. A few more examples. You can see I get excited about this because I mean, I do it. <laughs> and, and hopefully if you're following all this, you should start salivating also because it, it, it's it's just easier to call a top and bottom than it is trying to nail the entry on a directional. So here's another one, CRS, you know, just can't look at that, nine red bars, gap down, quickly negated, engulfed, and then I have three more days of chopping around. Three more days of chopping around to you technicians should be code for support so i have one two three four five bars in a bottoming tail at major support with a price void above price void is a strategy we teach of course in our master trader strategies course that says it's loose resistance it has the ability to move higher so could you have traded this as a directional this one, yes. The other one, no. But we're talking about credit spreads today and naked. So this one, look at the $45 strike that I have boxed in red. Over the high of this bottoming tail, I'm putting 60 cents a share in my pocket for just predicting that this stock trades above 45 bucks in five days. $600 on selling a 10 lot. Here's what it did. So this one, this one was more bullish than the other because of the, um, the subsequent consolidation, pickup in volume, but you know, I'm not here teaching um, chart analysis today, but we do, of course. Here's a bear, a picture of a bearish one. Breakdown, breakdown shallow retracement, declining moving averages. This is a money picture that we would be shorting um, bear call credit spreads on. Now, we, we love pain. We love pain and greed because they get extreme. Here's an example of Wynn, when it, when he came, when it got in trouble with Steve Wynn's you know, problem. And we just wait for the storm to pass, as I say in the title here. Then here's my hourly chart. Let's take a microscope now, because when you're in the green room with us, we, we, we're analyzing this in real time. Here's my pre-market, gap down, higher highs, higher lows. It blasted on the open. It came back to the minor support. That's where we recommended selling a put spread. And then we told them they can add on that afternoon breakout after that high range consolidation since the stock got clobbered from 205 dollars to under 160 the volatility was off the charts so we got paid handsomely for selling a high price put on that we do it every day in fact the folks in our green room know i'm currently watching five oversold climactic stocks right now that are still are not ready. I can wa I'll watch them for 10 more days. They will be ready one day, trust me. Th unless they go out of business, I will be trading them when they set up. This is an example, if you're willing to own the stock at an incredibly improved um, price, you can sell an out of the money put into earnings when volatility is high. So look at this Roku. You know, it had a bullish pro gap on earnings. It has multiple support levels. We sold this out of the money, $30 put, naked put for 50 cents, nine days of risk. How do I define cushion? 
it means the stock can go that far against us and we still make money. Now, if I put in, if, if I had Renee, you know, advertise this course today, hey folks, uh, come learn Master Trader Strategy, the stock can go 34% against you and you still make money. If a normal reaction would be to hit the delete button and say, come on, man, don't talk nonsense like that to me. But here it is. If assigned, you have to buy the stock at $29.50. Allstate, we, we prefer focusing after earnings because then we don't have gap risk. So this one gapped up on earnings. And then this is a master trader bullish one, two, three setup. 10 days of risk. We sold an out of the money put spread. You can see the, um, you know, the green line is the put I sold. And then we buy an out of the money put taking 570 bucks. What's my return on capital? A whopping 30% return on your capital that's tied up at the brokerage firm to put on this put spread. Everything starts with the chart. Then we go to the option table, you know, to make sure we're gonna get paid. For example, let's say I would only get paid 20 cents for that. Well, we teach you what is a reasonable amount of premium to make it worth the risk of the trade. That's obviously part of our courses. And I, I would tell you now, but we just don't have the time. In our green room, we love gapping trades. We, you know, every morning pre-market at 9 a.m. Eastern, we're, we give an analysis of the market, the market internals. We look at our open positions, any adjustments needed. Then we start hunting for new opportunity. Here's how we hunt. We look for gapping trades. And of course, the sectors that we know that are bullish and bearish, and we have our favorite trades there lined up. But we're looking for liquid stocks that get up or down 1%, and then we see if there's a compelling pattern there. We do that live in the green room every day. And we have an incredible course on, on just trading gaps alone. If you wanna be an expert in trading gaps, we have many people who trade one hour with us. They're gap specialists. And then they go off to play golf. They go off to work. They, they're in a different time zone and it could be at nighttime before they go to bed. Gaps are an amazing um, income strategy that we, we can teach you how to trade not only stock for a day trade, but as I'm showing you here today, how to trade options around them for swing trades, for these income weekly paychecks. Now, this might look a little scary at first, but let's just look at the left chart. We absolutely love selling short-term options and spreads around the S&P 500 ETF spiders, SPY particularly when it's oversold because volatility is high and we're gonna get paid handsomely for the risk that we take. Everything starts with the chart. So in the left side here, this is just a five minute chart, but, but just trust me that it was oversold at the time. So in our pre-market analysis, we said, we will be shorting puts on you, Mr. Spider. It's just a matter of when. So you can see the breakout pre-market. You can see the stars there where our bullish um, marks. On the right side, we love shorting bear call spreads on volatility ETFs. Now I have a whole specialty four hour course on um, selling, vol on trading volatility long and short if you wanna be an expert in that. But we favor shorting volatility because of um, what's called contango, which is just the headwinds caused by the fund manager rolling the, the volatility futures. And you know that's beyond the scope of this, but it has it has natural headwinds. So when we look to sell puts on the spiders, I'm always looking to sell call spreads on the VXX 
because of just horrendous headwinds. Here's our Boeing, which 350 bucks here. I don't know where it is now, but this is this is a go-to stock for us many times. But what's let's start with the pattern. Like I said, no pattern, no trade. Climactic sell setup. It's up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars. In our Master Trader Strategies course, that last green bar is what we call a wide range ending bar. Does that mean we short it? No. It means it's on our watch list day by day until we strike, when we see signs of intraday capitulation and bearish action on the intraday charts. Today was the day. You can see in the 15-minute uh, chart there, it started. It, it was an ugly retracement in, in, in the opening session, in the opening 30 minutes. So we are taking one day of risk by calling a short-term top, and we're going to sell the out of the money bear call credit spread. So we're going to sell the $350 call simultaneously by the 360. On a 10 lot, we're putting $480 in our pocket. All the stock has to do is go down sideways, or it can go up to my break even of $350.48, and I still make money. Be and so the return on capital here, 5% for one day. Because of the rapid time decay into expiration, and that's the focus of this webinar today, in our Master Trader Weekly Options Trader, we solely focus on selling short-term options that expire 10 days or less. That is our specialty product. This one was only one day. We sell options that expire on that day. We love doing that because then we have zero overnight gap risk. Two hours later though, as the stock you know, fell a little bit more and couldn't bounce and volatility contraction, we covered half of this in two hours for 50% of max gain, the balance expired worthless. Now some people, they say, oh no, it is so risky uh, of shorting short-term expiring options like this whole course is on. They're like, oh no, the, with gamma, gamma, uh, it will hurt you because if the stock goes against you, then you, know, you don't have time to let it correct. Well, guess what, folks? Gamma's a risk if you don't know how to read charts and manage the trade with the charts. If you know how to trade options the master trader way, Gamma is not a concern to us, and we love shorting short-term options because our risk, back to the melting ice cube it's a, or an hourglass, as long as Boeing doesn't go over 350, um, we make our maximum gain in one day. It is such a beautiful thing. Here's uh, how we teach people how to trade options on the major um, index ETFs. So here's spiders. Let's look at what's going on here. So right here on that breakout, we're gonna sell an out of the money bull put credit spread. Now the exact strikes and what expiration, uh, you know, we teach in detail in, in our course, but the pattern is there to sell a put spread. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. And then let's not forget our bearish one back here on the left. That topping tail, if you've 
that topping tail, you know, we'll obviously teach this in our technical analysis course, but at the high point of the day, that was a bullish breakout, a bullish green bar. Topping tail reflects sellers, supply, which drove it all the way back down near the low of the day and closed below its open. Under the low of that day, we're selling an out of the money bear call credit spread. Now again, you, you have to ask yourself, how comp for how long are you willing to take that bet? Three days, six days, 15, 30? And you know, we teach that, but it's everything starts with the pattern. So, you know, MTS, we teach these patterns, trade and money management. It is the best only course that you need if you want to learn how to objectively trade price action using the charts and market internals. Now, let me kind of wind up here. I'm just showing you, you know, I get emails all the time. I'm sure we all do. And these are just competitors. And, and then some of our subscribers say, hey, Dan, I, I just got this email. Um, what do you think? And they want our opinion. So this was one a, a subscriber sent us on UAL. They were recommending shorting a bull put credit spread at that arrow, the competitor. And see this double bottom in the bottom right, which I showed you our stick bullish figures up above. I told him, I said, David, do not touch this stock until you see this picture that I'm showing you or one of the ones on that chart above. That's then telling me that that selling is easing and that the buyers are stepping up. Now, it's not perfect, of course, but see where the arrow is, where we, in our advisory letter, we said, okay, now it's time. It, it, you know, this thing started from a bearish gap down. Where the competitor entered was just a bounce and a nasty downtrend. So we let it sell off more to major support. The bottoming tail was an ugly red breakdown bar at the low, but in an area of major support there in the high 61s. Over the high of that bottoming tail bar, we said, now I have the confidence. We sold the naked $62 puts that expired in a couple days, full profit. Another example, I mean, I could show you a hundred, you know, but you can see what's marked here, competitor's entry. I was just shaking my head. I'm like, they obviously don't use charts. This was another pro gap down. It tried to rally. Topping tail, ugly range expansion down. Doji bar after gap down. Are you kidding me? So that's why I say, if you trade options or stocks or anything for that matter without charts, you're doing it at your own risk. So I actually followed this one for our subscriber. Now, now look where it bottomed. It bottomed on major support. Does that, does that surprise you? No, that's what it should do. Then we have a wide range bar, we have a bottoming tail, we have a bottoming action. So over that, that second big bottoming tail bar, we see the first star, now you can sell your bull put credit spread. Then it broke out again, sell some more. Then the third star, sell some more. But the chart is telling me that it's stabilized. All right, so now if you, everything I've just showed you, you could, you could leave right now and everything I've shown you is a fantastic sample of what we do every single day to generate our 85 plus percent success rate on these trades. But if you, we have this incredible course, it's a five modules where we get into all of this in much greater detail. And again, you're, you're, you're earning this weekly and monthly paycheck, just predicting where the stock's not going to go. 
I'll show you those patterns and many more examples. Higher probability of profit because of this cushion when you're put, when you're selling options. By definition, you have a lower cost. You have an improved cost basis than trading the underlying. It's just a fact. So it kind of it, it totally shocks me that there's some you know, brokers and the SEC and politicians, whatever the case, they're like, oh no, um, selling puts is dangerous. And I just scratch my head and I'm like, oh, so you'll let me buy Facebook at 170 bucks, but you won't let me sell a Facebook 170 put where if I'm assigned, my cost basis is 165. Can you explain the rationale for that? And another sometimes, um, you know, logical question I get from people is, well, hey, Dan, or the money, I see all these great trades, but the money you receive, um, you know, what if, what if you get stopped out? Well, th they say, aren't we risking more than we're receiving? Yes, we are, but statistically, we take small stops because we're in trade management mode. Does the course go through the strike and expiration? Yes, Bruce. Uh, so that's why it's our trade management. It's like you don't buy Facebook at 170 and saying, oh, I'm risking $170 a share. You don't, you focus on probabilities and you have a stop loss and you, you share size it accordingly. So it's 130, perfect timing. Thanks so much for attending. Email me, Dan, at mastertrader.com. Check out this, lit, this uh, link here. MasterTrader.com, spread details, invest 97 bucks. It'll be your best investment if you want to learn how to master these. Have a wonderful afternoon, and thanks so much.